Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I uploaded the previous video in the series like a year and a half ago, uh, but I've just kind of gotten off track a little bit. Um, let's get back on it. Uh, we are in the Evening Lake world, uh, which is the game's final world, I believe. Uh, and we are going to find a level, because it's been a while and I don't remember where anything is. Uh, there's a level. Yeah, it'll do. Frozen Alters. Do it. Do it. Let's play the level. <laughs> Whoa, frame rate. We good? Yeah, we, we're flying. <laughs> I mean, I assume for all frozen altars. They're gonna be underwater since so we're going to a tunnel to frozen altars, Spyro. On yes, behalf no. of the ice fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. What is it? Oh, look, my fire is now ice. Well, at least it's blue. It could be blue fire. Green fire is quite hot because that's what a really hot fire looks like. Okay, so I guess when I'm playing this level I get ice instead of fire? I know um the Some next game oh. this a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox, but with these flippers, I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the action button and you'll walk back out. Why would I have no trouble using it? I don't have hands either. I'm a dragon. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, I know the next game in the series. Uh, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, I think it was called. Uh, in that one, you have different kinds of elemental breath as, like, a main mechanic. You get bubble breath in the beginning, and then, uh, I think there's ice, and there's, like, lightning and stuff. Um... But it looks like they were sort of exploring that idea in this game, uh, which is why in its one level you get ice breath. <laughs> oh, I took so much damage. Can I go this way? Or do I need to? My guess is I need to use the missile defense system thing they were talking about in order to progress. Yeah. That. Just give it a melt. Anything else I can do? Nothing else is in range. like, um, knocks them away or whatever. That doesn't knock them away. It freezes them into an ice cube, but they don't die when they're frozen into an ice cube. So you have to break it to actually defeat them? Welcome to frozen- Yeah, I have so, so this already. Do I have to do anything again? Um, looks like the gems stayed collected. Not too bad. Still annoying though. I feel like if I freeze them into an ice cube, I should be able to, like, launch that cube forward. Uh, like you can do with, you know, the ice the ice cubes in a Mario game, uh, you can launch them at other enemies. But it doesn't seem to work that way in this game. Oh, hello. I, I can... Oh, I didn't say that coming. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Feels kind of weird that there isn't a charge shoulder button. This one is fire, uh, and then these ones are roll, but charging is only on the Y button. 
been a while since I played this game, I can't remember if I've talked that about that before. I'm guessing probably not. Yeah. But I can go over there. Probably one's gonna go next. Easy. Give me the checkpoint, that's what I'm looking for. Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since Oh, that sucks. I hate it when that happens. In my snowman building competition. Oh uh, yeah, eat, eat the butterfly thing. Good fuck. Okay, um... Uh, let me see. Yeah. Around this side? There's another treasure. Because that's the, that's the snowman that got brought to life, I assume. Um... But also, there's another laser here. Am I meant to use the laser to take out the snowman? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a little bit more interesting than a static target, I suppose, but this still isn't very interesting. Mechanically. Kind of point the beam at the thing. I can't help but wonder, if I hadn't been given Ice Breath for this level, whether it would be easier? Because there's a lot of stuff I need to melt, and my default breath is fire. That, if, that, if it would be easier, then that fairy sabotaged me. To get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. Like this, for example? Is that what you had in mind? I don't know why, but I feel really cold. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I mean they're penguins, they're probably used to the cold, right? Is that there we go? How are we doing, by the way? 26%. I haven't gotten any orbs yet. Or actual orbs in this game? No, they're, they're dragon eggs. But same deal as the orbs in the previous one. <laughs> it has been a while. <laughs> Boop. Uh, another laser. I want to know how we're using this laser. Also, white doesn't hurt those guys. Look. I should... Oh, there we go. They just needed more zapping. Okay. Like, they, they said they couldn't use it with their flippers or whatever, but Spyro doesn't have hands. He's a dragon. He's got little, like, four feet. And this isn't like... And this isn't like a My Little Pony thing, where the dragons are bipeds and they use their claws as hands. This is, this is dragons that walk around like this. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's a Bentley section there. We'll get to that. Let's finish up the Spyro stuff, but... Dealt with. Uh, another laser? Just about zapping those guys? I don't see anything bigger. I, mean, I guess I will, but it's like kind of a waste. You can I aim it up at the. No, it stops there. Alright, I guess that's all it was needed for. It's a bit boring, really. That's alright. Get some more treasure. 
doesn't really make a big difference if the treasure's worth different amounts, because you're going to get all of it anyway. I guess it just means there's a few different colours to look for, which is a bit more interesting. I'm curious whether I actually need to freeze those guys before I charge them. They look kind of large-ish, so they might count as large enemies, but I'm not sure. Um... Because, you know, you can't charge large enemies. Maybe you can in this game. You couldn't in Spyro 1, but I can't remember how it works in this one. <laughs> it's been some time. Uh, get some treasure. Some like that. Can I get to there? It looks a bit far, but maybe. Oh, Ooh, maybe. Maybe. I don't see where else I can go now. Give it another shot. Okay. Uh, I think I saw a gem. Nope. Must have one of the other towers that had like a red gem sitting on it. Not this one. Hey, an egg. Uh. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're standing on exactly the right angle to the egg. Hi, Jasper. Oh, you're a dog. I see how it is. <laughs> okay. Um, I think from here I just dropped down. I don't think I can cross this safely. Yeah, I didn't think so. I jump that high. Either. All right. Well, I guess I'm going this way. Wait, is this where I started? It is. At the start. Okay. Was I not supposed to go this way? It's a bit of a confusing stage design. I assume there are more snowmen because I saw there was uh, an egg for melting the snowman, and I have been doing that, and I haven't seen more, but there presumably must be more or it would have already given me the egg. I might get like an extra high jump or something once I've cleared the main quest, but maybe not. It also might be that I'm meant to be freezing stuff and making more platforms. That's a definite possibility. I don't think you get anything for doing that, but it's fun, so alright. <laughs> The enemies appear to not respawn, so if I need to use them as platforms, then I put myself in a bit of trouble. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm here, what can I do? Can I get to that what, tower over there? Because that might be a good move. I sure can. Okay, and that gives me a couple more gems. Uh, but that looks higher than where I am. I don't think I can get to there. I might be able to glide from there to there, but I'll have to loop around again to do it. Mm, yeah, that doesn't work. It's worth a try. I, um, watched, like, a speedrun of, I think, Spyro 5? A Hero's Tale, I think, is 5? Uh, I saw, like, not speedrun, exactly, a challenge run, uh, where they weren't allowed to use Spyro's gliding or double jump. Like, in, his game, in that game, he has a double jump. Uh, and there was a lot of swimming in air glitch, so that seems like a useful thing to have. I believe it, is, it works in this game, too, but I don't know how to do it. May have done it in a previous video. It's been a while, I can't remember. <laughs> but... Yeah, swimming in air is a big thing in Spyro games to let you swim. Uh, some of them I think have like an air meter, 
So, if you do have a limited amount of time to do that, others you can just keep doing it forever. <sighs> It feels like I should be getting a whirlwind or something when I've done parts of this, so then I have to loop around again. But it doesn't, it hasn't done that. Okay, so can I glide to there? It looks pretty far, but maybe? Uh, absolutely not, I can't do that. Hmm. What do you want me to do, game? I'm assuming the Bentley section, like, won't unlock anything, because usually in this game they don't. It's just like a side mission. Uh. What do you want from me, game? Hmm. I don't think I could lure an enemy to here to get another platform. What's an enemy in here that I've got? I guess we'll look at the Bentley section and see if we can go from there. Spyro, I have just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a Yeti. Damn. That damn Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. Aren't we a Yeti? I knew you'd do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his high punch. Oh. Oh, is this a fighting game? <laughs> okay, B for body blow. The big hookaroo is the A button, and X is block high. Block low is automatic. Okay. Okay. Y is quick jab, B is body blow, A is big hookaroo, and X is blocking high. Feels really bad, by the way. <laughs> really awful. Doesn't appear to be any hits done uh, for either player. Feels really awful. <laughs> Special move, please. Can I, can I back up and projectile this guy or something? <laughs> oh, it's bad. Really bad. I knew you'd do it. Oh. Oh, what a horrible fighting game. <laughs> okay, let's give it another shot. fighting game by design. <laughs> so bad. Oh. Uh, like, I talked about how the, the skateboarding in this game is pretty bad. Might have been the previous one, actually. The skateboarding in this in this trilogy is pretty bad. But, like, I didn't really play skateboarding games, so I, I was, I'm just sort of assuming that they're, not, they're a lot better than that. They probably are. Uh, but I play fighting games and they're better than this. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so B is l B hits low, A hits high, and X blocks low. I think Y is also a high hit. Y is a high hit, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I'm getting the hang of it, but it's it's not good. It's not a good fighting game. <laughs> There we go. I actually have to do another round because it was saying round one. <laughs> you really showed him. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't my ball. That's yeah, it's an egg. That's a dragon. You should go back and kick his butt I would do it again. It'll be a three round match. Three round match, okay. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> oh, really bad, by the way. <laughs> Is every attack plus on block? <laughs> doing gray that was terrible oh wait wait my health didn't come back oh oh that could be a problem oh this is bad Rounds. Ah. All right. This time it'll be a three round. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> all right. All right. Projectile, I want projectile. We stun dipper. <laughs> uh. That's so bad to play. <laughs> No idea who won that round. <sighs> okay, I think I have more health now, so I, I probably won the last round. Fighting game felt like shit to play. <laughs> I'm really having an awful time playing this. I do not like it at all. <laughs> this is the last round. Finish. Okay, I 
guess I lost that one. Yeah. All right. Never played a more painfully unpleasant fighting game. <laughs> yeah, I lost. I'm gonna retry option in the menu, even though I'm obviously gonna lose this round. Not doing great. Round loss. <sighs> really having trouble with the side quests in this game, the little, uh, I guess, orb missions, egg missions, what are you going to call them? They're not actually orbs in this game, but they were, they're equivalent to the orb missions in the previous game, so. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the last round. Finish him off. Can I lose two rounds in a row? Alright. I'm gonna keep going, I guess that's fine. Bad to play. Or bad. You lost. Ah, this time it'll be a three-round match. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid F. Infuriating. Only two more rounds. Not doing great. It's a horrible mini game. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not enjoying this at all. Okay, we both have relatively low health. Alright, we have more. I down him completely, then it's not a free round match. It's he's gone. I think that's how it works. But I've been able to do that.
Wait, two more rounds. It's ridiculous how bad this feels to play. You you have no idea. <laughs> oh my god. thinking about um i saw this trailer for like some really cringe fighting game on twitter a couple days back uh the like where the characters were stuff like uh don't us and like other shitty uh like comic people on the on twitter like fascists and shit but also like left-wing people but they were they were portrayed as like being like you know sensitive and shitty and stuff like that um I saw like a trailer of that that is a fighting game where you can play as those sort of characters. Uh and a lot of people were don't come up by saying, ah, finally, get the guilty gear. <laughs> um, which I thought was pretty hilarious. Um, but then uh the creator was like was like our uh, free publicity for being dunked on. And people were like, I love how they said Hitler Guilty Gear because that's the only fighting game trans people know. They didn't say trans people. Uh, they said something else, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> uh, but... That game, that game is not Hitler Guilty Gear. That game is, uh... It, it's Hitler, the boxing minigame that Benley has to do in Spyro Year of the Dragon. In Spyro Reignite Trilogy. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. <laughs> oh, I'm having so little fun right now. Oh. Like, basically you've got a passive block, which is blocking low, uh, and that just automatically happens. But most attacks hit high. Uh, it's just the uppercut that hits low. Uh, and that's the one that basically pierces the block. But it's not, a, it's not really slower than the other attacks. Um, it's not like in, like in Guilty Gear, for example, because I'm going to, of course, compare to Guilty Gear. When you use a dust attack, which is the standard, like, grounded overhead everyone has, if you, like, flash orange for a second and charge up a bit, um... And so, like, every, like, the other player knows, oh, I should probably change how I'm blocking so that I can block this. Um, I still kind of suck at it, but... Like, there's, there's an indication ahead of time, whereas here, it... Like, I assume it's meant to be that they're pulling back the left glove, because... It's the only attack, as far as I can tell, that uses that. So the other ones are using their right glove, but... I'm having I'm having a lot of trouble with it. And it's really, really fucking slow and I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> I don't know if this is what boxing games are like. I've never really played one. Uh but if this is what a boxing game is like, I probably wouldn't enjoy it. 
<laughs> like, I understand that boxing and, like, fighting games are a little bit different, but I, I don't know if boxing games are as obnoxious to play as this is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Basically, I'm trying to use my spacing so that I can just dodge the attacks, essentially, and just keep hitting. Since this is a 3D-ish sort of game, it, it, it's like we're moving in two dimensions, we can't jump or anything. But... You know, when you say 3D, you usually mean uh, depth is the extra dimension, and we can do that, so... <laughs> you call it 2.5D a bit, it's kind of like Doom. <laughs> yeah, I know, I lost. Oh, this is infuriating to play, by the way. I think I mentioned that already. I feel bad. I'm curious whether this was better in the original Year of the Dragon, uh, for like PS1, because I haven't played that one. Uh, it's possible that they implemented it better and, and now Reignited Trilogy has just fucked it up. Uh, but it could also just be like this in every version, so who knows. Okay, I think I've managed to work out a strategy here. Okay. Only two, more rounds to... two rounds. I'm healed almost full. That's not like half. Okay, I think this is working. Still not good, but it's working already. Okay, so I get healed up, they get healed up. Final round, I'm still ahead. I think I'm doing alright this, this at last. You can't move while I'm blocking high, by the way. Which, like, that's kind of standard. Uh, like, it's the thing that most, that, uh, protects you from most moves, so it's like blocking low in a normal fighting game. And you can't move while doing that either. Uh, but here it feels bad. <laughs> I won that time. 
Do, do you actually have nothing out in the three round? I have to be the one with more health. I'm pissed. <laughs> significantly worse. Okay, so you actually have to drain their entire health bar within three minutes. With heals at each minute. Okay. I don't think you deserve your ball back. I think I'm a dick about it. This time it'll I have higher health. I don't drain the whole damn bar.
Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is the last Oh, this game is terrible. Hey, this isn't my ball. It's just another stupid egg. Yeah, of course it is. You get eggs for doing quests in this game. Are you going to make me do more? Oh, I like your glasses. Oh, thank God. That was a nightmare. Alright. Um, box the Yeti, box the Yeti again. Okay, well, we're done. Let's go do some platforming. Oh, that was awful. An atrocious fighting game. Okay, okay. No, I didn't. The jump center over there. I think I missed a round. Hello. Where I need to go. There's money bad. Hello. Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. Oh, baby. Hi, Jaina. Jaina? Whatever your name is. Okay, that opens that door. So that's back to the entrance. Okay, so that, that shortcut would have opened up if I hadn't fucked up the level. And miss this path, which would make the looping around a lot less annoying. Okay. Level's not as bad as I thought. But the, the fighting bit. Absolute nightmare. Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Alters Is this another horrible minigame? Of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course. But I. And again? Sure, I love cat hockey. Spyro, it should be a thrilling. Okay, what cat hockey? How do I play it? Do I want to play it? I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper while training. Yeah, I'll right. play cat hockey. Freeze the cat. Okay, pushing the freezing cats and pushing them into the goal. Okay. Okay, so this time we can actually push stuff around. Couldn't do that before. Wait, is that, is that not how I'm supposed to score? I meant to put them over here, in the goal with my face on it. It's making like a bad noise as though I've fucked up somehow. Or maybe I meant to put it over here? I can't tell. I can't tell which direction I'm supposed to be scoring in. Uh, I think it's probably the other way than from that guy. Uh, why isn't there a retry button in the menu? I'm doing many games like this. I think I'm supposed to be scoring by fixing the cat's kiss. That Rhinoc has been gloating ever- You should ask for a re- Great. Freeze- The mic- The blue doll. Which one's the blue doll? Is one of them blue? Okay, I assume it's the other one, but- I, I I can't see that. Aren't they all blue? What? It doesn't look blue. I'm a little frustrated with this game today, you may have noticed. 
Honestly, if it hadn't been for the horrible boxing game, it might have been alright. automatically win if time runs out is what would happen with the other one. So this one is a little bit less frustrating. I also might not need to do it twice. I think there's only one egg for me. We'll find out I suppose. Okay get get over there. Hit the traction first. Can we win? Well done. I think you deserve yeah. the champions cup. I, I don't think a game of hockey where you start facing away from your goal and you need to get, get the ball into the goal directly behind you and cap. That doesn't sound that doesn't sound right. Like that was just needlessly confusing. Also the faces don't even tell you which goal you're supposed to go to. It seems like like the face my face might mean I defend this goal, but it it doesn't. Okay, uh Glycan Temple Roof is the last one. We're done in here. Cool. Sorry, I don't I don't mean to be negative. I'm just having a, a bit of a time with this game today. Uh okay. so from the temple room. Yeah, by the way. Yeah, there's still a decent front to the left. I'm gonna guess it means that one something. This is like a little island, you look at the minimap, there's like a tiny piece floating off the top there. I'm guessing that's where I need to glide to. Uh, but I'm not sure where I need to do it from. how much I really hated that boxing me game. I did not like that boxing me game. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe the way it works is like, if the time runs out then your opponent wins regardless of how much health you both have. That, that's just not how this is meant to go. Okay. Uh, I did try to glide there before and couldn't. Maybe if I glide with can I stand on this bit? Yes. Oh, that's too high. Right. Maybe... Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, I can get up that one, but I just need to not lift it up. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. I usually try to aim for a half hour for these videos. Um, But usually I try to get one level into that half hour, and it's been an hour. And level's not done yet, so you can see the game gets a bit more difficult uh, later on. <laughs> okay, so from here we need to go to there. Here. Is that going to work? It looks like it might be too far. And again, I think I was on the wrong side of the little tower I was jumping on. Hmm. Hmm. 
Dragon. I think Hero of the Dragon is definitely my least favorite of the original trilogy, uh, based on what I've seen of it. I don't like unlocking new characters rather than just the Spyro like I did in the previous game. Uh, I don't particularly like a lot of the uh, mini quest things. Granted, the second game had a lot of those too, and I didn't like all of them. So. I feel like there are more that I don't like in this one. Okay, you can get to here. Let's get over here. Add some more gems. Is that the intended route? Because that was weirdly. Maybe, but I don't know. Let me get my these. Getting there with the gem. Quite there, yes. Okay, then I can fly to that building. Get a few more gems. Maybe all of them? Yes, all of them. Then I just fly over there to get the. Okay. So the playing as Spyro parts weren't too bad. The playing as Bentley part was a friggin' nightmare. Okay, job's done. I'm gonna return home. Interesting that this mechanic is a thing, and was only used in this one spot. Like, I feel like there could have been other things I reached by doing that. Maybe even stacking up a couple of ice cubes or something, but no. That's the only time in the level, and it's just one spot for a couple of treasures. And there's a guy hinting at it who's the guy you need to freeze. I don't know, it just seems like a weird decision. Hmm. I definitely miss the thing uh, the original PS1 games did, where as you're returning, like a little chest opens up with all the gems you just got and sort of shows you them as I, as I go into total. Um, this game doesn't do that, and I thought it was pretty. <laughs> oh, oh, I got, got some emotion, got some energy about the, about the boxing. Ugh. Oh yeah, the entrance was underwater, and then the whole level had, like, no water. Why did you put the entrance underwater if it's not an underwater level? Weird choice. Go in here? I probably did, because I've already got everything in the tub. Break the tower wall is probably the best thing I could do. Alright, well, we're done with frozen altars. Um, it's an alright level. It's just, the level design itself is fine, and the little laser moon uh, gimmick isn't, is the kind of slow, but it's not horrible. Uh, but the boxing minigame is horrible. That that was really awful. Oh, my goodness. I did not like that. It was bad. <laughs> Okay, um, that's about it for now. Next time, I guess we'll be heading over to wherever this is, Lost Fleet. I'm guessing this will be like a pirate ship thing. Like, the, the, it's in a pirate ship, but it's also called Lost Fleet. So I feel like it's the fleet of ships that that name's referring to. Hello. Are you an enemy? I don't remember. They don't seem to be attacking me, so I'm guessing they're not. But I'm not really sure what you're doing here, then. I mean, I'm attacking you. You can attack back if you want, that's just fair. <laughs> Alright, well, ugh, that's about it for this video. Next time we play Lost Fleet, and hopefully it doesn't have the most infuriating minigame ever in time. We'll see how we go. Uh, but uh, this level sure did, so... Yeah, that was, was fun. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this game there actually is. Um, I think we've done everything in the first two worlds, and I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Like, maybe there are four in this game. I'm not sure. There, there might be four. Uh, but yeah, we're about done here. 
Next time, we did it. The fleet over there. Oh, that's not the fleet. Oh, over there. We go to that one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't uh, become a little too negative with that one. I feel like I might have done. Just let me know how you feel. Watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs> and you recording. Bye!